Hi, welcome to the point of view stories for our new school year. We're going to tell the same story from the new school year mini story lesson, but we're going to change the point of view by either changing the time or changing the person who's telling the story. Okay, let's get started. Penelope's summer is off to a rough start. She's been saving money for five years. She wants to buy a bright pink motorcycle. On the first day of summer, Penelope goes to the beach. She goes in the ocean and she sees a shark. The shark asks her for two dollars because he wants to buy a hamburger. So Penelope opens her wallet and she takes out two dollars. Then the shark steals Penelope's wallet, and he swims away. Penelope screams, "Ugh! That shark just stole all my money! Now I have to start my savings from scratch." So Penelope makes up her mind to find a job. She's really into photography, so she finds a job taking pictures for a rock and roll magazine. Day to day, Penelope looks for motorcycles that are for sale. She saves two thousand dollars and she buys a bright pink motorcycle that really draws her eye. Okay, so as you can see, we just heard the story told as if it's happening right now, or as we say, in the present. Now let's tell the story as if it's happening in the future. So we'll think of the story, say, two years from now. Okay, two years from now, Penelope's summer will get off to a rough start. She'll have been saving money for five years. She's going to want to buy a bright pink motorcycle. On the first day of summer, Penelope's going to go to the beach. She'll go in the ocean. And she'll see a shark. The shark is going to ask her for two dollars because he wants to buy a hamburger. So Penelope will open her wallet and take out two dollars. Then the shark will steal Penelope's wallet and swim away. So then Penelope will scream, "Ugh! That shark just stole all my money!" Now I have to start my savings from scratch. So then Penelope is going to make up her mind to find a job. She's really into photography, so she'll find a job taking pictures for a rock and roll magazine. Day to day, Penelope will look for motorcycles that are for sale. She'll save two thousand dollars and buy a bright pink motorcycle that will really draw her eye. Okay, so that's the end of this version of the story, the version in which the story is in the future, where we talk about the events that are going to happen or events that will happen.、Uh, please notice that instead of saying something like Penelope will open her wallet, we can shorten it by saying Penelope will open her wallet. This is more like how we would say it in spoken conversation. Uh, in a textbook, you'd be more likely to hear Penelope will instead of Penelope ol. So you can see how you combine the words Penelope and will to be Penelope ol. You also probably notice that sometimes instead of she is going to want, we might say she's gonna want, which also is more like spoken English. All right. Now let's hear the story from Penelope's point of view. We'll tell the story as if Penelope is actually the one telling the story to you. Okay, let's start. My summer was off to a rough start. I had been saving money for five years. I wanted to buy a bright pink motorcycle. On the first day of summer, I went to the beach. I went in the ocean, and I saw a shark. 
The shark asked me for two dollars because he wanted to buy a hamburger. So I opened my wallet and I took out two dollars. Then the shark stole my wallet and he swam away. So I screamed, Ugh! That shark just stole all my money! Now I have to start my savings from scratch! So I made up my mind to find a job. I am really into photography, so I found a job taking pictures for a rock and roll magazine. Day to day, I looked for motorcycles that were for sale. I saved $2,000 and bought a bright pink motorcycle that really drew my eye. Alright, so that is the end of the point of view stories for the lesson new school year. Now, please listen to each version again. And after you listen to one version, then try to tell the story to yourself. If, it, if you can't, it's okay. Just relax and go back and try to listen to it again. You can listen to it every day until you feel comfortable telling the story to yourself. Okay, good luck and see you next time. Hi, this is Kristen Dodds. And this is Joe Weiss. And we just wanted to let you know that this material has been copyrighted in the year 2009 by Learn Real English, LLC. www.learnrealenglish.com